Hello everyone and welcome to the second Mindful Monday, this time with a replay sent in by Vani. It's a Tetra game and we'll just have a look, but before we do that, very very shortly, the moment you see this video, the next post in the community section is up for you to send in more replays. Each week I'll be collecting from Monday to Friday. If you have a game to show that I should go over and have a closer look at, send them in. And now, downloading the replay. We have it, and it's here. Play. Play? Okay. It's the first time doing this with a replay that's not from me. Rainmaker Inkblood. Double Duelist Leader 52. Clash Bow Squeezer. And the Junior. Okay. No object shutter on either side. Double Ninja Squid. Classical gear so far. Those are good. They're looking to get pop, as they have the better comp for this. Now, Vani here was looking for the right stack here. Managed to survive this relatively good. Early Reef Slider securing the kill here, very well done. Grabbing the Rainmaker to make first progress, well done so far. And now pushing up to... Missing a lot of shots here, but manages to stay alive. And now, will he take another fight? He is. And the team is working with it. <laughs> um, Bubble obviously was there for quite some time. And as no one has object shatter, this will take a while. And the idea of stalling the bow out so they neither can missile nor can they shoot at the rest of the team. But I think... Rolling a bit further into the enemy base to also stay alive in the process would have been a slight better way in. Yeah, a slightly better way to play, to, to play this off. Now, after the jump securing an important kill, they're unnoticed. And I wouldn't go for this if you don't have object trading. Clash here. It's an okay trade. It wouldn't have been necessary. But in the end, the with this situation, yeah, the quick respawn going in. And you're still in the upper hand. Now, facing Kalash right here is tricky, but they messed up their positioning, so it results in a kill on Bunny's side. Sees the player, goes for it. Fall off, okay. Assisted here, another Reef Slider in. Beautifully placed, secures the second kill here. And here comes the push onto the plaid. Unfortunately, um, each player got like two or three hits. Maybe a step back to... Why can't I open the map here? I can't. Okay, sad. Jump in. And now... Ah, the... <laughs> Sharken, Sharken against a Clash there is hard and it gets punished. Unfortunately, 52 here doing the same thing. But so far, they didn't manage to get a single push down. This is also solid here, what I should mention. So, coordination will be off at times. You just squeeze it here. Van is looking for the kill. Sees him. But yeah, the better way is to just back out. It's a special, it's a bit wasted. You could have just backed out in exactly this area here and you would have been pretty fine and could have saved this special for you. a more important moment when you can easier secure kills with it rather than using it as a panic button to stay alive. You're looking for the bow. He misses his shots. Yep. Smart retreat. Nothing to win here. Drop off. 
not giving missiles too much that he sees the player but can't quite fight it good retreat here not dying to the trizoker or any of the pushing players continuously throwing auto bombs at times when you have nothing else to do is good and this is the reef slider i was referring to perfectly used there saw the opportunity and took perfect advantage of it and now this is what tetra is all about keep pressuring keep drawing attention bow is taken out and the player would do the wall just left the squeezer had no intention to fight here which is quite good as Avani can keep his position up there and move on from there another use slider but the follow-up yeah okay that's one unfortunate placement there but they finish off the game here and overall this was a very well played just some some minor smaller mistakes here and there with I think the the one main part was how to face bubbles when there are ones placed on the map um, as Tetra I wouldn't try to destroy them and if there's no other way if I can retreat and ignore them try to get inside of the bubbles and threaten the players inside of it in this case we had the bow on one time and he needed to hit all his close combat shots to deal with you and i think you would have had the upper hand going into this fight also seeing how they played throughout the game but besides that a reef slider usage that it was just used there was no value to it but it wasn't a downside for you either so it's just a a small optimization to rather bike off in this situation and yeah that was a good game overall and i hope we see more like this but also i'd like to see some some games that were more intense maybe some really close games one point leads dropping a 30 bomb and you still lose and we'll have a look at what exactly went wrong i'm totally here for that and i'm happy what you're sending in and please please share this video share the format there is so much what we can learn from each other that i can teach you that you can maybe show off in your game something new that i haven't seen yet new weapons i'm not experienced with all of the weapons i have a general good overview but there are still fine tunics that i have to learn and i want to learn them together with you and with that thanks for watching we'll see each other in the next video make sure to like subscribe ring the notification bell to not miss out on anything bye bye